Alright, I'm just taking a clear script stamp, inking it up with some archival ink in coffee, doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't have archival ink, it can be any ink as long as it's um, as long as it is whatever, no, it just doesn't matter what sort of ink it is. Now, where's all my flower layers on this one? So I've got script on that one. I'm going to do script on this one. So every second one is going to have some script on it. So then this one, not that you're going to see it, but okay. And then for the others, I'm going to have, I can find it. Just a music stamp. Just music notes. And we'll do those on the alternating ones. Okay. On that one. And that one. Then, find the lid. That was um, archival ink by Ranger Coffee. Acid free. As long as it was acid free. That's what I was trying to get at earlier. Now, I would normally spray those, but as some people may not have any sprays, any glimmer mists, I'm just going to ink the edges with my vintage photo distress ink, you can use any other ink as long as it's acid free, do to these, I might, once I have um, inked up the points, I might sp spray these with some water and then crinkle them up, open them up and dry them out and see what that look kisses. <laughs> them up just wipe this over now I'm going to open them up very carefully so I don't rip them and then dry them up piece of string and try to thread it through these holes and if this is too thick I'm going to have to get embroidery floss. I 
so we're going to do two knots and then cut the ends and then fray them by just pulling them apart like that all right that's it okay and now we'll put our flower together I'm going to use glossy accents to make sure that sits on that right there. Let me just hold that down. Okay, let's get back to our page and see how these, oh, that's a lot better, it's tighter. also sitting on that that one there's sitting on the eighth inch edge I think okay that's all right they're sitting in there firmer that's not drama and most of these you're gonna see the full photo anyway so you don't necessarily need to pull them out. I want two reds together. There we go. That's what that's gonna look like. And this one's gonna go underneath there. Just gonna have it there like that, I think. Like that. Then we're gonna have where the photo go. Gonna have the photo is gonna go under there like. I'm going to put it there like that, maybe. No, it's going to go there like that. Then we want the date. Okay, and then what else did we have? We had the flower, and I think it's just going to go there. Should I have that straight? Let's see. Okay. Then we're going to have this over here. And that's going to be, okay, it goes that way. And then that's going to say Italy. Mm, okay, so maybe that just sits in there. It says 2007. Okay, maybe up there, Italy 2007. So maybe that goes over there a bit more. You'll put that one there like that. It's going to be Italy 2007. Is it too? 